which let's discuss this now with uh, writer and blogger Susie Boniface, who's better known as the Fleet Street Fox, and alongside her political writer Rupert Myers. Rupert, was what she sent really that bad? I want to make a, a, a statement here, which is that unlike Susie, I, I respect and appreciate the British flag. So I, I have, English flag, I rather. Come on, so I've, I've the British flag. Let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. Anyway, not the this British is, no, the flag. The English flag. Make sure you take English it with flag. you. And um, oh, really? Oh, you don't want to keep it here? Well, we've got other stories to do. To be uh, fair, <laughs> um, I think that what Labour ought to have done is just ignored this tweet because on its own, it's just a picture of this man's house, okay? It's a weird picture, but we all take pictures. We all put drivel on the internet. Goodness knows I do. <laughs> but, by, for yourself. But, by, but by actually accepting that this was offensive in some way, by accepting that it would upset people, there's an implicit acceptance that she was being a snob that's why she's resigned. That's why uh, she was pushed out by Ed Miliband, because both she and Ed Miliband looked at that picture and thought it was rude. So, so actually, in, in, in resigning, they've agreed with the people who are critical of it. If they just sat on it, they would have allowed the Conservatives to ride through what would have been the terrible press of losing in Rochester. Mm. They had a political barn door to shoot at with, with the Conservatives losing the election in Rochester and Stroud, and somehow Ed Miliband has shot himself in the crotch. Isn't the worst bit about this, um, Susie, that she wasn't being explicit? It was the implication which she actually intended, didn't she? I don't know whether she did or whether she didn't. Of course she did. I think she probably did. I think she was probably being snide. But, you know, she didn't say anything specific in that tweet. And as Rupert says, the thing to do is to write this sort of thing out. She's done something stupid. That's Ed's fault for promoting somebody who is capable of this kind of blunder. But it requires um, a stern telling off and an apology from her to the poor chap whose house is now being yeah. set upon by reporters. The house it's looks, not a resigning the, matter. The house looks absolutely fine. So what was she sneering at? The white van or the cross of St George or both? Who knows? It could have been either. Yeah. Um, and frankly, I think it's probably a combination of the two. What's amazing but about it, right, is that when you see something surprising, you take a picture of it. But this is, to most people, Mundane. a normal suburb. Yeah. Yeah. This is what life outside of Islington looks like. It's what the suburbs look like. And yeah. that's the real shock, that she was so surprised but that Rupert's she put right, it up on Twitter. We, the fact that they res responded by, as we've reported tonight, Ed demanding this woman's resignation yeah. shows that he is reacting in the worst way of someone on Twitter who just panics and knee-jerks to something and is out of control. Yeah, I'll ask you about that in a second, but first, here's what people in Rochester and Strood uh, are saying about this. I think she's a uh, uh, snob. And I've always felt that. And uh, I'm surprised that no one else has felt that before now. I just think everything gets blown out of proportion anyway, doesn't it? So, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't bother me. <laughs> took a picture of my house and my van, to be fair. So. In this area, uh, a lot of people have got white vans. That's how they earn their living. A few of my friends have got white vans. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're um, not worthy of anything. Rupert's reined in his England flag now, and we've sent someone to take a picture of his house. <laughs> um, the thing is, this does signal as well that politicians, Rupert, really shouldn't go on Twitter that often, should they? I mean, or should they? I, I look. They seem to put their foot in it an awful there, lot. There are two, two schools of thought. You can either be this sort of completely dry politician who doesn't engage with the public, or you can just be yourself. Now, the problem for Emily Thornberry... When people that, are themselves, though, they put their foot in it. Right. The problem for Emily Thornberry is that being herself was clearly being a, a sl slightly out-of-touch snob uh, who thought that there was something shocking about a man owning a van and some flags, right? But I think voters want politicians who expose themselves. They want people. <laughs> and, and, and it's possible to be, you know, Boris Johnson or... or, or um, I'm trying to think of other examples here. Michael Fabricant, a man who is perfectly at home, saying whatever comes into his head on the internet. And voters respect that and understand that. It's, it's not what's in Michael Fabrican's head that's the problem, it's yeah. what's on it. Um, you said expose themselves. Uh, I mean, that's what happened with Brooks Newmark, unfortunately. Look what happened to him. I know, but he, he held on for weeks and he'd been sending pictures of his winky to young ladies. Uh, <laughs> Emily hasn't done that in the least and she's gone straight away in an enormous panic and it's just ridiculous. It was not a resigning mat in any way, shape or form. But let's be, let's be serious for a second here. This does signify deeper ructions in the Labour Party at the moment when, as Rupert said, they should be aiming for a barn door. Oh, it they? just shows they're completely panic. All they had to do with this election to kind of win it, as it were, for Labour is just sit on their hands. Mm. That that was it. They didn't need just not 
get themselves into trouble. A disconnected, and they've gone and blown it. A disconnected swing ball would have done a better job dealing with this because all they had to do is, is keep their mouth shut. And the fact that Ed Miliband panics it is a, yet another example of why is there so much discontent with his leadership of the Labour Party. And the PR, his reaction also shows, actually, he's now branding Labour as people who are out of touch and who do think that St George's flags and white vans mm. are slightly questionable. And that's just disastrous for him.